Today, we'll be talking about Maxim's ultra-low-power cryptographic controller with chip DNA for embedded devices, the Max-Q 1065. You know, these days, every designer has to consider security during every stage of the product development cycle. It begins at the factory. Are the parts and firmware genuine? Counterfeit parts or code can compromise the safety and reliability of the end product and put your customers at risk. Almost every product of more than trivial complexity relies on cryptographic functions to protect data and ensure communications authenticity and integrity. And most cryptographic functions depend on keys. Leaving keys in general purpose memory exposes an unnecessary risk that sensitive data might be compromised. Firmware updates are a fact of modern life, but counterfeit updates can expose the user to malware threats. Secure boot and secure update mitigate that threat. Often, cryptographic certificates are used to prove the identity and authenticity of a server or an endpoint, but certificates aren't just static bits of data. They expire and have to be updated. They may be compromised and must be revoked. And a mechanism has to exist to securely add certificates as needed. The Internet of Things has unfolded into massive arrays of inexpensive, remotely located network nodes. But they are full-fledged citizens of the network, and as such, they make an attractive target for hackers seeking access. It's one thing for data on the network to be secure, but what about data originating at a far-flung endpoint? Guaranteeing the authenticity of the endpoint and the accuracy of the data it collects is just as much a part of the security puzzle as any other factor. As technological products become more and more driven by software, it's the software that defines the product's feature set. Secure feature control keeps premium features confined to authorized devices, and that protects the revenue stream. Finally, many products want to use standard Internet protocols to communicate securely, and that means TLS. But the cryptographic protocols demanded in the TLS suites may be more than a small microcontroller can handle. Let's see how the Max-Q 1065 handles these challenges. The Max-Q 1065 is a complete, fixed-function, cryptographic coprocessor. It connects to your main processor using a fast SPI interface and handles all of the cryptographic functions you might need. For encryption of bulk data, the Max-Q 1065 has an AES engine that uses 128 or 256-bit keys in electronic codebook, cipher block chaining, Galois counter mode, and counter CBC Mac modes. It has hashes in HMAC based on the well-known SHA-256 secure hash algorithm. It can perform asymmetric functions like elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman key exchange and ECDSA authentication. And it has a true random number generator to make sure that nonces and one-time keys are really unique. At a higher layer, it supports X.509 certificates and TLS handshake and record functions. And beyond these, the Max-Q 1065 is highly tamper-resistant with puff technology that actively thwarts attempts to probe the die and a tamper-detect input to protect against intrusion into the device case. The Max-Q 1065 comes at a very affordable price, and it's available now. Here's a typical application for the Max-Q 1065. The Max-Q 1065 encrypts all data bound for the cloud and decrypts all data received from the cloud with a high degree of security and data integrity in each direction. The red rectangle in the diagram highlights the secure channel over which encrypted data exchanged between the host MCU and the Max-Q 1065 flows. Beyond data security, the Max-Q 1065 keeps a close watch on any event that might signal a hacking attempt by means of external and internal sensors and its own puff technology. By now, it should be a little clearer how the Max-Q 1065 meets the challenges we introduced earlier. 
The Max-Q 1065 can verify device signatures to make sure that unauthorized devices are not introduced into the secure system. That means end-user safety and device reliability are kept up to factory-fresh standards. Internal encrypted storage is a secure place to keep all cryptographic keying material. With Puff technology, you can be assured that even the most advanced hacking attempts will be thwarted. The hash engine of the Max-Q 1065 allows you to compute a signature of the device firmware, and the ECDSA block lets you verify whether the signature is valid. Invalid firmware can be blocked from execution, ensuring that only firmware you have signed will run on your hardware. Management of X.509 version 3 certificates provides a chain of trust that ensures everything from messages to firmware are the genuine articles. One of the roots of a secure Internet of Things is key agreement, and the Max-Q 1065 supports ECDHE key establishment. This means your device can conduct secure communications with remote devices without previous agreement on a secret key. The entire endpoint is secured with the Max-Q 1065's comprehensive security suite. You get symmetric bulk encryption over a fast spy connection, tamper protection, and a host of internal sensors to make sure that your secrets stay secret. With feature control, you can securely enable and disable features in your device, with the knowledge that your advanced features won't be surreptitiously unlocked by a malicious actor. Finally, cloud communications can be secured with TLS version 1.2 Handshake and Record Layer. That's a lot to take in, but Fortunately, there is much more information available on the web. See the Quick View page for the Max-Q 1065, review the available material, and when it's time, order the evaluation kit. And if you just want to get a deeper understanding of cryptography in general, check out our cryptography handbook. Thanks for taking the time to learn about Maxim's ultra-low-power cryptographic controller with chip DNA for embedded devices, the Max-Q 1065.